Hi, I'm Denise from In Sheep's Clothing, and I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about spinning in the grease. And by in the grease, what we mean is uh, sheep's wool that has not yet been washed, it still has all the lanolin in it. So, the reasons why you might want to spin in the grease as opposed to spinning a commercially prepared product or washing and carding or combing is First off, it's very minimal fiber prep right at the outset. All you have to really do is pick up a couple locks and flick them out and get started. Second of all, you don't, since you're not washing it right up front, you don't run the risk of felting the fibers before you ever get a chance to card or comb them. Some people have a lot of anxiety about that potentially happening. Another thing is, again with the washing, is that uh, you may not have a, a big pot to use. You may not have a setup where you're going to get hot enough water to, to you know, wash a big fleece and keep the water hot um, and do a lot of that up front. And it can be much more manageable to wash a skein or two of yarn after you've actually got it spun up. Uh, and if you spin in the grease and it's still greasy, then you wash the yarn and sometimes that's the, the easy way to go. Uh, a lot of, another reason is a lot of people like the feel of spinning in the grease. Some commercially prepared, prepared products actually have a little bit of oil or something actually put back on them for the sake of having things draft real easily and, and smoothly and that sort of thing. And you never have to go there if you have the grease in it from the first place and it's nice and fresh and oily. So those are some reasons that you might want to try this method. So. Once you've decided you want to give this a try, you have to know what kind of fleece is a good candidate for this method of preparation. And really, you want to pick the very best fleece to, to try to process this way because it is very minimal processing up front. So it dictates that you can't really do anything this way that has a lot of dirt or any kind of matting or a lot of vegetable matter or that kind of thing. You're looking for a fleece that's in really good shape, doesn't have dry tips, doesn't have any uh, weak spots in it, has a decent staple length ideally, and is freshly shorn so that it feels oily rather than gummy and it doesn't have little globules of lanolin or anything in it near the skin level that are going to get in your way, are going to be a nuisance to work with. And this fleece I have right here is Corydale. And the staple length is a little bit short because the tips were trimmed off, but otherwise it's, it's truly just a, a gorgeous fleece and it's freshly shorn and it has a lot of nice different uh, colors of gray in it and it'll be very nicely naturally variegated when I spin it up at a block at a time without having separated the colors. So uh, again, because it's freshly shorn, it feels nice and oily, but it isn't sticky, it isn't gummy, and all we're really going to have to do to this to make it spinnable is to, to flick out the ends a little bit and get started. So, for the prep itself, you're going to want to have a flick carter. This is really all you need for the prep. And you want to have a dedicated one because, of course, you're going to get some lanolin and probably a little bit of dirt and that kind of thing, dust in it, and you wouldn't necessarily want to use this same carter on washed wool afterwards. So, I've got a dog brush, and that's a nice option because it's really cheap and they're easy to come by and everything, and you can just pick one up at any kind of pet store. And all you really need to do is flick out the ends so they get all nice and loose and feathered out. You probably want to do that in both the tips and the butt ends. So now you've got it nice and loose and fluffy and uh, very spinnable just in its current condition. So when it comes to spinning this, now that you've got it all feathered out, you can start from the butt ends or you can start from the tip ends or you can spin off the fold like this with it folded over your finger and drafting from the, the side of the lock and there are proponents of, of all of those methods and you can see which one you prefer just giving it a spin each way. Um, so you'll draft out some of your fibers and get them connected to the leader here and start drafting them out. 
and you'll find that the lanolin lubricates the drafting very nicely as well as kind of binds the fibers together so they slide but they don't slip and it gives you a lot of nice control over the drafting I find it's going to feel a little bit different than working from scoured wool that's that's completely dry, that's completely grease free. But you may find that this is a, a really nice feeling and, uh, and a very comfortable way to work. And you can either do this with a forward draw uh, for more of a worsted type effect or you can do more of a medium or long backwards draw and that will tend to give you a little bit of a loftier semi-woolen effect in your yarn. So that's really all there is to it.